Hello friends, this is Nirmal here for Technique and in this video we are going to share some of the tips, tricks and features of the cool UI on the Coolpad Mega 2.5D which is on top of Android 6.0 Marshmallow. So there are lots of changes with respect to the cool UI. This is the cool UI 8.0 on top of Android 6.0 Marshmallow and compared to the previous uh, uh, devices from Coolpad, uh, we have a lot of added features and uh, new tools. So uh, let's uh, just analyze some of the features available on this device. So first step, uh, if you press and hold the home screen, we have the options called widgets, wallpaper, effects and preferences. So you can uh, change the effects uh, when you uh, swipe within multiple home screens and in the preferences uh, you can have the home screen layout. We have 4x5 four, four uh, and uh, added 4x4 uh, four four also included. You can auto align icons and then home screen loop can be also added. There's also option for wallpaper scroll. So that's the option available in the preferences. Now if you just swipe from bottom, we have this control center. So control center is available uh, similar to the iOS and also Geony devices do have this control center. So what this control center does is it's a quick toggle available. So you can see airplane mode uh, and the normal set of options are there, meeting mode, uh, settings you can access Bluetooth, uh, auto rotate. And if you swipe, uh, we have added features uh, like screen recorder, control center settings. So if you just click the control center settings, you can uh, you can uh, uh, rearrange the icons available uh, you can just drag and rearrange uh, these icons uh, uh, based on wh whichever you uh, use more frequently so that's a control center customization at the bottom you can also see there are uh, quick uh, toggles for launching apps uh, say for example flashlight calculator and then we have recorder camera and uh, you can also have the option to edit them so if you want to edit them uh, you can add uh, additional options from whatever is available here so that's the option to customize the control center now if you go to the settings uh, uh, we have some options available for just uh, scroll down and you can see uh, virtual key settings so that's one useful feature what it does is this has the uh, uh, on-screen uh, uh, navigation button so what you can do is uh, you can customize the navigation buttons you can interchange between multitasking and back button you can add uh, uh, different panels you can see there are four different options uh, you can see these are the indications a menu button a home button back button and recent key so you can customize it based on how you use the device so again a useful feature now if you can to control center we already talked about how to customize the control center then apart from that you have smart control option there is a C button wake up gestures and action and screen so first we'll talk about C button so once you enable it's a floating dock available you can see the C button available here so you can just drag and rearrange the C button and when you click you have a whole lot of features including home, screenshot, lock screen, mute, you can just uh, uh, shut down the phone, restart the device, auto rotate. So a lot of features are there, you can, uh, you can just swipe and get a hold of these features and then minimize this. So that's the C button uh, option available. Uh, so it's pretty useful if you want to quickly access some of the options. Then wake up gestures are included, you can see double tap to wake, uh, slide to unlock, uh, slide to take photos, hood is slide to switch songs draw a C for keypad draw E for browser draw M for music so see these are some of the options if we'll just uh, show you you can see double tap to wake uh, we'll just uh, show the double tap to wake and uh, this will uh, uh, turn on the screen so similarly we have uh, additional options you can uh, go through these options whichever is uh, suited for your needs we can turn on them then uh, there is um, uh, the other option called action and screen so miss uh, miss operation prevention that's uh, when uh, uh, when you are using the f when you are keeping the phone in the pocket this will not uh, trigger any action so that uh, will prevent any additional call you make while the phone is in your pocket that's can that can be enabled then three finger screenshot swipe down uh, or up uh, using three finger at any time to take a screenshot that's a, an, a, uh, another useful feature if you want to take screenshots so that's the options uh, available in the settings then you have this cool manager so we, we can optimize the cool manager I mean the phone using the cool manager just click here and it will scan the device and optimize for better performance so you also have added features like a call blocker and then uh, you can uh, delete uh, uh, unnecessary junk files uh, from the device. You can uh, see data manager is the power manager. If you go there, you can select uh, different uh, power schemes, uh, advanced power saving mode. As, uh, you can set the sleep interval. Then uh, low power mode is also there. Then uh, you can uh, go to uh, common modes, uh, smart outdoor mode, ultra uh, battery usage mode. So these are some of the options in the power manager. Then uh, we have privacy settings, cleaner, 
and uh, data usage so these are some of the options uh, in uh, the cool uh, manager then you also have themes manager you can uh, download additional themes from here and customize the device so that's uh, quite useful if you want to get a, a different look and feel for your device uh, then apart from that you also have this rock wallpaper every time you hit the rock wallpaper the wallpaper changes automatically uh, so if you want to quickly change the wallpaper you can just um, hit the uh, rock wallpaper and this will change the wallpaper every time there is also a clean option available so what it does is if you hit this it will clean up uh, uh, the ram and uh, give you more ram uh, for the device you can see here we have released uh, uh, some memory and that will uh, affect in the performance as well so these are some of the options available in the cool ui 8.0 on top of android uh, marshmallow so this is uh, the cool pad mega 2.5d with cool ui and android 6.0 marshmallow hope you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to your youtube channel for more videos thanks for watching have a great day